Thanks for dropping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do keyboard shortcuts for notes. So basically what we're going to be doing is creating, so for example, if I press B on the keyboard, it's going to drop in a background note. It's actually because it's the first note, it's going to create my comp and it's going to put my media out available. If I left the background node highlighted and press T, it'll drop in a text node and that will also add a merge because that's how DaVinci Resolve is set up as default. Now to do this is actually really straightforward. If you just click inside the node graph and press Shift, Control and the space bar, it will bring up the Select Action menu. Now the Select Action menu has everything that's going on inside uh, DaVinci Resolve Fusion, but if you do type in Hotkey Manager, don't know why I've got three versions, I think it's because I've got Reactor installed. Just select a Hotkey Manager and then we get the Hotkey Manager pop up here. If you've got Reactor, you can go through Reactor, but we can get through it with Keyboard Shortcuts. Then just go to Views, Flow, and this is all the keyboard shortcuts that Fusion uses in the Flow area. Now I've already created some, so I've got this one here. I'm going to delete it we'll recreate that to show you but you'll notice some of these are grayed out and we have the default ones that are built into fusion but also i've added some by using a config script rather than this way and i'll show you that at the end but that just ensures that i've always got it and i can send it to somebody as well so what we're doing here is we just click new and then at the top you want to enter your keyboard sequence now if we did Control alt and g because we're going to drop a glow that will go in straight away. If you do a single key, then you need to press that single key more than once. And then if I press G, then it comes up with a shift key. But if I press G again, then what it'll do is just put a single letter in. And I think it's done that just to make sure that you don't overwrite anything. So I'm going to do shift, control, and G. Once we've done that, we just go into the tools menu and you've got all the tools nodes that you've got inside Fusion. I'm going to click the blur, select glow, click OK. And that's it. So we've got in here shift, control and G is a glow, click OK. Now if we do shift, control and G, it'll drop in a glow node. Now that is the way just to set it up for you personally. But if you're working as a team, you want to make sure everybody's on the same page. What we can do is we can go into the Fusion config folder. I'm just inside the app data row in Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve support Fusion. That's a mouthful. Double click config and I've got user FU. Now you can call it whatever you want, but user FU just makes it easier. Open this inside VS Code and it's really simple. It's a really simple document. What we have up here, we have the comments and then you make two curly brackets. Inside those two curly brackets, you make another one with the hotkeys and then two curly brackets and then you put target equals flow view and that's the node area where we're going to work and then you can just list everything that you need so b equals add tool and then you put the id of the tool we can have it to so for example i've put because d switches on and off video clips and audio clips on the edit page i've done it so d disables the tool so it does pass through so that's the, actually the same as doing control and p we've then got the period key which drops in a pipe router and then we've got shift and underscore in the letter and then down here you'll have control underscore in the letter you can also run script so shift control and f2 will run this script so i'll make this available to everybody you can customize it really this is just something you would use as a team to make sure everybody's got the same shortcuts otherwise inside davinci resolve it's as simple as shift control spacebar and you go to the hotkey manager so there we go that's it for this quick video on how to make shortcuts for your nodes thanks for watching i'll see you next time